the Davenport automatic screw machine, the chuck and feed mechanism, Now that you are familiar with the work spindles, you will learn about the chuck and feed mechanism. The chuck and feed mechanism on the Davenport automatic screw machine automatically feeds the stock through each of the five work spindles so that a workpiece can be machined by the tools. The chuck and feed mechanism includes the following parts. The chucking mechanism, which has already been explained, the chuck opening lever, the chuck closing lever, the feed slide, the feed tube and feed finger, the feed lever, and the chuck and feed cam. The chuck and feed cam. The chuck and feed cam is located at the lower left front of the machine. The chuck and feed cam activates the chucking mechanism by means of the chuck opening lever and the closing lever which is located behind the chuck and feed cam. The chucking mechanism opens and closes the chuck. The chuck and feed cam also moves the feed lever back and forth to correspond with the chuck's opening and closing. The feed tube and feed finger. The feed finger attaches to the right end of the feed tube and works by spring tension. The feed finger extends through the front end of the inner spindle into the chuck. A newer ball bearing feed slide unit is also available to fit existing machines. Parts of the machine that operate in conjunction with the feed tube and feed finger are the feed slide and roll, the feed slide guide, and the stock stop plate. Note, the stock or material is fed out when the machine indexes between the fifth and first position. Before the machine begins to index, the feed slide roll is contained in the feed slide guide. The chuck retains its grip on the stock. The feed finger is pulled to the left, as viewed from the front of the machine, by the feed tube assembly. As this occurs, the feed finger is pulled back across the stock. The chuck then opens and releases its grip on the stock. During the machine's index, the feed tube and feed finger start forward and pushes the stock until the stock strikes the stock stop plate. When the stock hits the plate, it can be pushed out no further. This controls the basic length of the workpiece. After the stock is pushed forward and strikes the stock stop plate, the chuck closes. The machine completes its index and the machining cycle begins. This entire mechanism is activated by the chuck and feed cam.